my name is Ray Archuleta. I'm here in Berlin, New Mexico, showing the rain simulator. And what you're seeing is we're simulating the water cycle, and we're showing it on two pans that were collected out in the field. One is a cool season grass here in New Mexico, and then here on the other side is the bare soil right next to that native grass. As you can see, it's been raining for several minutes, and you can see on the bare soil how the water is running off. And the reason for that is there's no plant canopy and there's no root exudates to create aggregates. These biotic glues are created by biology. You can't have this biology without a living plant. So this shows a dysfunctional water cycle, the small water cycle. The small water cycle works like this way. 40% of our precipitation comes from inland. Right now we have too much bare soil. If you have too much bare soil, you have what you call a lot of sensible heat giving off the surface. You're building these plumes of hot air and they're actually pushing the rain clouds away. Plants and soil create pressure gradients and actually attract the rain. So if our range was covered, we would actually get more rain in a more stabilized fashion. Gabe Brown and Ray Archuleta talk about doing the infiltration tests and I did that at the ranch and we have some soils where we've been doing the cover crops that they're infiltrating within 20 seconds on these old farm fields where you go out onto the rangeland. We have some that are taking a minute. What I'm going to show is how much runoff came off this bare soil. As you can see this container, you can see all the water that ran off and how much actually infiltrated. Notice this is happening on a global scale where all rangeland that is bare. We're having huge amounts of water leaving and evaporating the surface, having massive erosion. You look at the other one where the grass was, look how little ran off and look how much entered into the soil. Look at the importance of a functioning water cycle. We need to maximize the rains that we get in New Mexico. I tell people we don't have a runoff problem in this country, we have an infiltration problem. It doesn't matter how much rainfall you get. What matters is effective rainfall, how much water can infiltrate into your soils and then be stored there via the carbon levels in your soil. In the bare ground areas that I did this infiltration test, the water was staying much longer than if you had a cover, just as Ray showed this morning when he was showing the rain simulator and how covered soils just can penetrate so much quicker. My small pasture is um, two and a half acres. Easily, what, a thousand gallons, I think. It was uh, for every acre or something like that, an hour every acre. Now, I do that in half the time because my soil has got multi-species of grass and, and legumes and stuff, so it's taking in that water. If we have a healthy plant, we have healthy soil, we have a healthy climate, all of this is connected. So it's very critical to understand how we can improve the function of the soil. Let's imagine that we were getting all of our water to instantly go into the ground to be utilized within a, I would say, five second period would be just amazing. It's not how much rainfall you get, how much can you infiltrate and store there. So I challenge the producers in New Mexico, where are you at? Until you capture every raindrop that falls, we can't be having this conversation.